I'm at the Sex Machines Museum in Prague. This is Anna. She's Hi. about to give me a tour. Tell me about the museum. The purpose of the Sex Machines Museum is about like having fun and how the human mind could be so creative about sex machines. And now if you want I can show you some of the objects. Inside the exposition we have more than 300 of objects. I'm actually here to buy Christmas presents for my whole family. Yeah, I have some suggestion for you if you want. Is there a good one for grandma? Yes, of course we have present for everybody. Let's go to see the first machines. This is the steam vibrator. It was invented by George Taylor in 1969 and it was used before to cure hysteria. I would be pretty scared if I went to the doctor for hysteria and he prescribed me this. This looks like a train. Yeah, it's working like exactly a locomotive. It's called the Boner Express. <laughs> yeah, maybe the Vibrator Express. I don't know. It's the little dildo that could. Yeah, maybe. I have a ton of these. <laughs> okay, really? This is a dildo made by glass and you can fill it with hot water or cold water. Glass seems dangerous, like what if it breaks? Oh no, come on, this is very strong glass. <laughs> the third one on the very right. You can change the picture on the top with the lover you prefer. Oh, nice. I love that mustache. That is an epic mustache. I think his mustache might also double as a dildo. <laughs> Will you put my picture in your version of that? Your picture? Yeah. Um, I'm sorry, I have my favorite lover already, so... All right, I'm just trying to get product placement. Yeah, I know, you are promoting yourself. <laughs> Let's go to see what kind of sandals we have here. They are Greek sandals, and they were used by uh, prostitutes. They had a word just down here. And while they were walking, the word was impressed on the sand. And the word, it means, like, follow me. That's really cool, that's great promotion. Yeah, maybe it's better than, I don't know, Facebook or Twitter. Well, I knew a girl once who had sandals like this, but instead of follow me, it said, Joe, I'm just not that into you anymore. Wow, that's very bad. <laughs> I'm so sad for you. That was another shoe that they had. I'm so sad for you. This is a vibrating vacuum. Finally, cleaning made fun. Yes, exactly. You can change uh, the last part of the vacuum with this one over here. And you can also put all the tubes around your body so you can have vibrating on all your body, between your legs and in the upper part on your nipples. Please go on, I like hearing you describe this. Okay, thank you. <laughs> the one on the left, you can change the pressure, so you will have it more intensive or otherwise less intensive. I can't compete with this. I don't know, but yeah, you cannot, I guess. This is a Hoover for your cooter. Uh, I just say vibrating vacuum. Fun fact, 95% of the products in this museum were donated from Anna's personal bedroom. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Thank you very much for the tour. Thank you to you for coming here and visiting the museum. This is a clip from Joe Goes to Prague. Check out the full episode by clicking the link below. And don't forget to buy my official sex machine, the Diljo. I love you. I love you. Come here inside the Sex Machines Museum. And if you come in and make an orgasm, they'll take 20% off your ticket. <laughs> we will be just happy for you. Yo, it's Ghostface Killer. I want y'all to subscribe to Joe Ghost. He's a very nasty boy from US. <laughs> no worries, Mike! Subscribe! It's all good! <laughs> no! It's not an orgy. Women only, women only. Click the f***ing button. Oh! <laughs> Little rude. Sorry. Sorry.